Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. I care about Ash. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. You're right. There is something between us. I knew it. And I knew you felt it, too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. 
Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. That is not the most romantic reason, is it? You make it all sound so dangerous. A little danger makes things exciting. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You... I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benazi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Like I've got time to write you up. You have something you want to say, feel free. Fair enough. Truth is, there's something wrong with all of this. This Saren is looking for a lost mass relay to who knows where, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. I trust you won't have any questions when whatever's coming hits the fan. None. I'm not questioning the mission. I'm just concerned. You won't have to worry about me, Commander. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Boy, am I glad to be off of Novaria. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. I have to go. All right, see you. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the Comrade. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. What kind of information? We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. I don't like being kept in the dark. We can't have you racing around the galaxy chasing false leads, Commander. We only contacted you because we feel this may be significant. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. 
Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian operations. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. We got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around.
must find a way to disable their artillery. must find a way to save them. Base now. Out. Ready to move on your work, Shepard. You lead. I'll follow. down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain what we get here.
So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. I'm concerned about Rex. We still trust him. No. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. Right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. He 
It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Elenko, you're with the Captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit him harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden cracks. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Shadow is on the ground. And Alenko with E. Gordine. One of us, the enemy. Ooh. Time to get some attention.
don't know which is worse. The gap or all this sand in my... Never mind. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Olenko, take the heat off Man of I. Sat strikes. JLO, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? sand in my
shadow team must be getting close. We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Is someone out there? Well, you're not a Gath, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Ganto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Everyone here is indoctrinated. You might be working for Saren. My whole team was altered, but I was left alone as a control subject. And I still have my senses, although I almost wish I didn't. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms and progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. These look docile. Their minds are gone. What drove Saren to this? It is cruel beyond measure. Better to die than to live like this. Just kill them where they stand, Shepard. Are you certain? It's what I would want. There is something foul in the air here.
What do you want? I told you everything. Uh, who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savata of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. N never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Shepard. He's not part of the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you, and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. 
to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think... He's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Oh! I believe you enjoyed that, Shepard. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. This is a place of evil. It needs to be destroyed. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply... Or... The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic. 
organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joker out.
Position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move.
It appears the Geth have sent reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and is bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Y yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Fight hard, Lieutenant. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful to 
emotions that gather her attention. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove they are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, we must die. I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? We had to leave him behind. Saren has to be stopped, at any cost. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Elenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Elenko's dead. We can't change that. But if we don't stop Saren, his sacrifice was made in vain. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Tell me, your visions, have they changed at all? Do you know where the conduit is now? The vision changed, but it's still not clear. That is unfortunate. I am afraid our only choice is to go to Pharos. Maybe we will find what we need there. I'll let Joker know where we're headed. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard. I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. 
Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us.